mid 20th century and after World War II, there was a tremendous housing shortage in the United States. World War II was over and returning GIs were starting families and looking for homes. Architects and builders faced the housing crisis as an opportunity to experiment with new ideas. In California, there were the Wexler prefabbed steel homes. On the East Coast, William Levitt built the first mass-produced suburb. And new housing types were being promoted like the ranch house, the tri-level, and the bi-level. In Chicago, industrialist Carl Strandland introduced low-maintenance, affordable prefab homes. They were made of steel trusses, steel studs, and enameled steel panels. I'm Michael Knorr. Let's take an architecture minute to look at these short-lived but innovative Lustron homes. 2,000 or so Lustron homes were actually built between 1948 and 1950, with many of them shipped to locations in the Midwest where I grew up. As a kid, I remember noticing them. I would sometimes beg my parents to go out of their way on Sunday drives so we could pass by a Lustron home. They stood out in pastel yellow and green, gray and tan. My little boy mind was enchanted by their clean lines and how cool they looked. I wished we could live in one. Lustron homes fit right in with the 1950s aesthetic of many other mass-produced products. Sleek cars, casual fashion, and streamlined everyday items. Financial problems, production delays, and rising prices led to the demise of the Lustron Corporation. But during the brief period they were available, they provided a modern alternative to the usual stick-framed tracked homes. Lustron homes are the same general shape and style as a typical suburban American ranch house, but in many ways they are obviously different than a conventional home. The most immediately obvious feature of Lustron homes is the porcelain enameled steel panel cladding. These are the same type of panels that were used in some gas stations of the period. They were touted as low maintenance as they didn't need to be painted regularly like wood siding. You just hose down the entire house now and then to keep it clean. The company brochure said a Lustron home would defy weather, wear, and time. Many people did not want a home that, in their minds, looked like a gas station. Somewhat surprisingly, even the roof tiles were made of porcelain enameled steel. A matching steel paneled Lustron garage was available, but I've never actually seen one. The interiors were marketed as thoroughly modern, with an atomic age aesthetic. Yes, the interior walls were also steel panels, easy to clean and durable. What did you do if you wanted to hang a picture on the wall? Magnetic hooks, of course. Lustron homes were a delightful little side note to the mid-century modern architectural movement. In the end, the company was unable to keep up with the rising cost and lost money on each home. It is interesting to speculate on what architectural improvements the company might have made had it been financially viable. The styling of these units was not as exciting as the atomic age production technology, but the company did not last long enough for any changes in the product design. So, in the end, Lustron Homes turned out to be a technological dead end and an architectural fizzle. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Thank you.